would be we printed on the big sheets. We've been involved in the printing of enzymes for about 10 or 15 years and we had a chance meeting at a networking event with a company that um, manufactured antibodies locally. Um, we thought it would be a good idea to see if we could turn an uh, expensive uh, test for the hospital into a high volume test that could be possibly moved out to the point of care when for the patient. The project has been running for about two years and we're at the stage where we can happily print antibodies onto a, pretty much any plastic we want using a special coating. And we can also print antibodies onto uh, membranes that are used for things like lateral flow tests for, diet, for testing pregnancy. Right. <laughs> A range of tags can be used, um, a simple colour tag to give a, say, a blue colour in the presence of a, of a virus, for example, or um, a light emission that can be read by a machine, or some kind of electrical or magnetic. Uh, signal. For some things, I think it would probably be very, very helpful for when you're screening for things like cholesterol, possibly for uh, slightly low blood count, things like that, um, where you're not too worried about the absolute final accuracy. That might well be very helpful for patients because you can actually tell them the answer there and then when you see them, rather than bringing them back later. Ultimately, it could be a, a test that somebody in their own home could do. Uh, you could look, um, certainly the uh, move towards uh, printed plastic electronics means that you could have a completely disposable sensor so that when, if a person was feeling unwell, they could, they could monitor their own condition.